excited, friend. This is Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for the day. We uh, want to give God the glory and give him all honor and praise. He woke us up on due time this morning. Matter of fact, Mitty Man didn't get to sleep until it was after 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, I got caught up in an old program, Praise the Lord, with on TBN. First of all, let me give a shout out to the YouTube family from Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT as well as Mama JT. Y'all know the routine. Also to the End Time Harvest Game. Brother from Kingdom Knowledge, uh, Brother PP Drawing, Brother Hardencliffe. Brother JT as well as Papa JT and Brother Orange Flavor. We give all of you your accolades. But yeah, nevertheless, I was speaking of, um, I was, I was, uh, when, I, when I retired last evening and I always try to I try to get in the bed at the same time, even though if I don't go to sleep, I watch uh, TBN. But at any rate, uh, it was sharing one of their old programs on TBN, like, praise the Lord, like they normally do. They just about play one every night at 2 a.m. And so they had on uh, Rosa Greer and his wife and Dr. Oral Roberts. I knew then that I was going to be up a while when I saw Dr. Will Roberts, and um, he was speaking on some things that was so amazing, and it was so inspirational, you know what I'm saying, Something God knows what we need, people, you know, and he was speaking of the Spirit, you know, about speaking in um, our prayer languages, speaking to God and everything, and those of us that have not spoken in per se or unknown tongue. He will let everybody know that don't you feel bad because you haven't spoken in an unknown tongue and speaking in your prayer language to God. It's a lot of people have not done that. He was trying to get us to do, those of us that have not not to feel bad about that but we need to start just uh, them groanings and things. Sometime and I know I've been there whereas uh, things were happening to me so fast until I couldn't even I wanted to say something didn't even know the word to say and they just couldn't say nothing but oh brother you know something like that there who knows but at any rate Dr. Robert was speaking so and I mean it was motivated it was so motivating I wanted to get back up even before I got to sleep I was so fired up after listening to that program that and this like I said it was an old program from 86 Dr. Oral I was looking so very well in the video and everything, you know. We got spiritual peak fathers, and and I feel Dr. Oral Roberts was one of them, pioneers, just like Dr. Billy Graham. And uh, those are people that's giants of faith. And uh, we look at them and with admiration, and there's nothing wrong with that. If anybody else have a problem with it, well, many men don't have a problem with it. Giving credit and honor to him, honor is due. And uh, really got motivated and sparked by Brother Dr. Oral Roberts. And uh, I know that we, we, he went on to be with the Lord and everything, but he left behind a legacy. A lot of spiritual leaders that we have today that he left behind, giants of the faith, like Brother Kenneth Copeland. Matter of fact, I think Kenneth Copeland was uh, his pilot for a while. And uh, Kenneth Copeland, they all went to Oral Roberts University. I never had the chance to go to Oral Roberts University, but I do have some people and some friends that went to Oral Roberts University during the time when I was in school. But at any rate, we just, like I say, we just, we just give God honor. And it's, sometimes it's good to reminisce over your life. And... I've noticed, and I will tell everybody, and I'm going to cut this video short this this morning, that everybody that comes into your life is meant to stay. People come into your life sometimes for season. God sends you what you need for that point in your life in that period of time. And then after that purpose is served, they move on. So don't feel bad when you come across certain people and all of a sudden they disappear. Like, for, it's nothing personal sometimes. It's just that, 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 that season is over. And you just must learn to go on. And then, you know, 
like I say, everybody that comes into your life, they cross your path in your life, is meant to stay there. Then there are some that a relationship lasts a little bit longer. But at any rate, we just want to say we give God glory. And I appreciate all everybody that God has placed in my path in my lifetime. And uh, we see that I didn't understand a lot of the things when it was happening, but I did come to understand it. Everything worked together for the good of those that love the Lord. <clears throat> so, with that being in mind, we can have great confidence to know if we be a child of God, no matter what thing come our way, we have the assurance that we know that it's going to work out for our good somewhere down the line because that's his word. And we must learn, like Brother Robert said, spoke of last evening, we must learn to trust God. People, we just going to have to learn to speak what God speaks and trust him. Trust the word. We can rely on the word of God. When all else fails, God's word is forever settled in heaven. We can always count on it. So with that being said, it's many man I always tell you that whatever you get or whatever you get into, if God isn't in it, it's best that you get out of it. It's many man saying peace. Goodbye.